what's going on everybody so today we're out here in Sanford on Burns Road um, I found a legal trail out here on my way in all the trails that I love to ride in the past are uh, blocked off so I did finally find a legal one uh, today we're gonna do the uh, primary spring on the JBS clutch weights so I know there's a lot of debate on that um, but I'm pulling my primary spring and uh, we're gonna see what happens. So I'm gonna do before video, after video, all that good stuff. Um, real quick, DNR, if you're watching this, open these trails up, man. We ain't hurting none back here. Sanford is missing so much revenue because you won't let us ride these trails. We got a bar here, a store to fill up, get snacks. Like leave, you literally could uh, bring some money to this town. These are the best trails that I've ever ridden in the state of Michigan and I've been all over. So come on, let's go. All right, anyways. Okay, so I have this set up. Two bolts in the very toe, and then two in the one before that. Um, and my RPMs are a little higher than I'd like because I like doing, um, you know, I, I do some road riding, I do some fast riding, ripping trails and stuff. So the moving the, the primary spring is gonna lower them down, the RPMs down, so it's a little more comfortable when I'm ripping the road. Fortunately, I got a ride road. So I want to show you guys what the RPMs are. I'll try to get going on this, this the dirt road, see, you know, give you a little indication of what they are and uh, how fast I'm going. So uh, we'll get a little comparison. We are also in high gear. So you can tell right now, I gotta yell at the camera. So, 11 mile an hour, let me get the, uh, hang on a second here. I think I could change just to get the RPMs down in the corner. Okay. So, 10 mile an hour is 4,600 RPM. Seven hundred, seven grand, thirty-two. Forty, seventy-three hundred. Fifty, eight grand. Fifty-five, that's still about eight grand. Okay. Really. Next, I'll do a little, uh, I'll do a little up and down. Look at that. Look at what that says closed. You tell me why that's closed. That is an open freaking trail. Just a little, man, that's ridiculous. Climbing. That's why I show a little uh, how the engine brake slows me down. Some people are concerned about that.
So first we'll take all these bolts off. Clutch cover. The seven million there are. But I guess they gotta be there, right? Remember when you're taking this stuff off, do it with it on the ground. Because the springs are compressed. The spring right here is compressed out. Yeah, you doing that in the air, you'll never get it out. Learn that the hard way. Okay, now we got two bolts here. We got two 12s and a 10. Or two 10s and a 12. I don't know. Let's find out. So. Tens and maybe two twelves. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, nah, man. For as much time as it just took me, I probably could have just did it the rest of the way. This will be my first inspection of it also after I put the JB weights in it. JBS weights. I did, uh, let's see how many miles do I have on it with them weights in there. Not a whole lot, honestly. I did one rip. Where did I go? I don't even remember where I went. Oh, I went down to, uh, I went down to West Virginia, actually. Just want to apologize real quick if the wind is blowing and you can't hear anything except the wind. Because, uh, like I said, I'm in a freaking trail doing this because I told you guys that I lived on in the uh, in the city now, so I can't do any testing. It's horrible. So I got to bring my machine out on the trail to test it out. But I wanted to get it before and after. And I wouldn't have been able to do that at home. So here we are, doing this in the trail. But, you know, it's good for you guys to see. I guess you know that it, it can be done very quickly in the trail if you did have to pull your belt or whatever. It's super easy to change the belt in the trail. Same with the uh, clutch cover. Make sure it's on the ground. You'll never get this off either. It's, it's hard to get off anyways. You like gotta, just gotta Harry Houdini it in there, a little magic trick. All right, so now we're gonna pull these and uh, pull that spring off. All right, like I said, pulling these. I loosened those ones up off film just so I thought I knew I could get them. <laughs> I don't know if sitting here struggling. So these ones weren't though. And I don't know the correct torque. I know it ain't a lot because it's all aluminum, but. All right. 
already. Cover came off that easy. Spring pops out. There's the spring. Stock spring. It ain't going back in. You can't really see much of the weights from, you know, not if you don't pull it off. I just want to make sure everything's still there. Make sure all my little C clips are still there. They're all on. So that's good. All right, let's put this cover back on. Shit. Well, I didn't, uh, I know there's a, some arrows and I turned it. <laughs> well, all right. I have to look. Oh, right there, arrow. Arrow up, arrow up. There ain't nothing else. I mean, it wasn't necessarily up, but that's where the arrow is. So I gotta assume that that's where. Assume, I know assuming ain't good, but I assumed. girl probably explode on me and it's because I assumed that that, <laughs> that that went up so you just put all these back in just like you took them off or took them out and I ain't got no torque wrench or nothing so we're just gonna do a couple little ugga duggas and assume that's about 10 to 12 because I think that's what they got to be who uses a torque wrench anyways and when I, uh, when I get this back together, I'm also not going to put the cover back on it. Just for the simple fact of uh, when I get home, I want to get it all blown out and everything. We're headed to West Virginia next weekend. And I just want to get everything blown out. So should I be ripping it on a dirt road without a cover? Yeah, probably not. But we're gonna. I'll give them a little tighten, little star pattern tighten, you know? Kind of like you were doing lug nuts on your car. I wouldn't do them all right next to each other, but. Again, I'm no mechanic. That's just uh, what I would recommend. that tight enough just a little thumb push because uh you know it's aluminum it strips out easy i learned that with my harley davidson i stripped a lot of bolts on that one putting that motor back together thinking everything need to be super tight in here it only need to be like seven pounds or yeah it was uh ridiculous how much stuff i stripped on that okay Spring is out. Let's carry Houdini this old girl back in. twelves first because I'm gonna be the ones that I uh, I'm gonna be the ones that I probably drop in the sand because again we are in the freaking trail I'm excited to try this without that uh, primary spring 
It ain't no race car, so I don't think I need it. I'm also going to pull the uh, the um, sway bars, sway bar end links too, before we go, or while we're there. I might do a day with them and a day without them. All right, that's it. What'll that take me? Uh, I got 15 minutes of footage so far on this vid, this one little piece of the video. So yeah, I don't know what it actually took, but um, Jesus, I got dirt all over. <laughs> how'd, I, how'd I get dirt all over my face like that? Oh, I don't. Oh yeah, I do. Oh uh, geez. Okay. Anyway, we're gonna take this for a little rip. I'm gonna do the same thing I just did with the primary spring in and we're gonna see what happens uh, as far as the downshifting goes. Cause like I said, people are afraid that it's not gonna downshift. Um, we'll see what happens. And then as far as uh, RPMs to mile per hour. So let's do that. Yeah, another, another closed trail.
All right. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, I think it's way better. Just my personal opinion. Um, I didn't notice the high revving. I also didn't notice any hesitation on the takeoff like I was worried about. You see? Okay. Um, before, when I had the aftermarket assassins clutch weights, when you take off, it's like the motor revved up, kind of like the belt was slipping. Did not notice that at all with the JBS clutch weights, and especially didn't notice it with the um, primary spring removed. So, I'm digging the, uh, the primary spring removal. I know there's tons of debate on it. Just do it or don't. You know what I'm saying? I chose to do it. I got the JBS clutch weights. He said he'll warranty them if you pull the uh, spring. And by the way, let me say that I am no affiliate whatsoever of JBS. Uh, I just think his products are great. He's got videos out there proving why. Um, check out the sander video where he puts all the clutch weights on, clutch weights on the sander. Um, if you uh, are a skeptic still after that video, that just, I don't even understand why. If, if you're a skeptic at this point, after watching that video, it's just because you don't, you don't want to like the dude or you don't, you don't want to like his weights. I, that's all, that's all I can say. So, uh, you just got something against them. So, uh, everybody have a good day and I uh, hope you like this video later.